Hello and welcome back to the Vulcan Reapers. I am Anihan, your West Coast host. And I am Comet, Cat Wrangler of the Universe. Uh, yeah. So this is Milo and Dart. Whoa. Because they're Alright, let's do this. Except Dart is not yeah. my other cat's name. If you ha if the video That's hasn't fine. gone up already, you'll you'll see him. Don't worry, he's coming. Ooh. Oh, perfect timing. I was just thinking maybe you've outgrown this place. In other words, I'm <laughs> kicking you out. You need to find a new place. <sighs> it's just an attic room, really. Now that you're getting along in your life, you should have a bigger place. You also have cats. Shame on you for not getting <laughs> a bigger place. So I went ahead and found some other places I think would be better for you. What? She's just like, by the way, you're not paying pet rent. Get out. <laughs> Wait, are you kicking us out? No, of course not. Heavens no. I was just thinking maybe you wanted to get a few furnishings, a bigger place, something nice. You're kicking us out. No, no, no. But there is a fine place in the Southeast Artisan District next to Steele's house. It's nice. A bit old-fashioned to look at, but I just renovated the interior. It looks great. Next to Steele's house in the Artisan District? Okay. I also have a place down in South Castle. It's just past the stables next to Falcon's Hangar. It's outside the city, so it's a little quieter, if that's something you're looking for. Next to Falcon's Hangar in South Castell. Check. I want the mansion! Oh, it'll <clears throat> be lonely here if you do decide to move, so don't think I'm pushing you out. A landlady is just always looking for what's best for her tenants is all. Especially when they're David. <laughs> At least this one is. Well, thanks for kicking us out. But I couldn't imagine us living somewhere further away from you. Oh, you litter fl little fluttering flatterer. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Butterfly used heart attack. You're not going to... You're not getting a cut in your rent. Anyway, the only thing uh. is that I do have a to charge a small move-in fee for each place. You may think it would suit me very well if you kept moving all over the place willy-nilly, but then your pockets would be empty, and where would that leave both of us? So I would suggest you think over any more move more very carefully. Shh! I just want you to be happy. I left both places open, so feel free to pop in and take a look around if you're interested. What do you think, Krisk? Wanna take a peek? Oh, we're going. Of course, if you're happy <gasps> with your room as it is, you just stay right where you are. I just don't want you to mm. feel all stuffed and cramped and musty and nasty up there. Nasty! <laughs> and it's good for someone your age to go ahead and get the, get a change of scenery every now and then. I used to move around quite a bit back in my day. Why, I remember the first place I had on my own. We just moved in! The first place she had on her own! Not I us. know, but I'm like, I'm the butterfly, so I'm like, I just oh. moved into this place. Yeah, it's well. been like two days. So and I beat like, the most carity senseless and stormed out of there with the quiche that was rightfully mine. <laughs> but it made me realize that in every place I went to, I seemed to discover a new part of myself. And every time I moved on, I could feel blah, 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 blah. Oh dear, I've blah, gone and chatted blah, blah, blah. far too much. You mustn't let me go on like that. That's such a bad habit of mine. Let me start snoring or something. Blah, 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 blah. Here, have yourself a piece of candy. That makes everything better. Truth. So now you're giving candy to children. We're not exactly wow, a child. If you'd like to move out of here, just stop by and let me know. I'll be downstairs. Pam, can I ask you? How did you come to inherit 50 batches of quiche? Oh, that's a long story. That's for another time. Uh-oh. You know, Sans just tries so hard making those quiches. <laughs> just failed over and over and over. And just abandons them, and they just keep going and keeps <laughs> making them and leaving them and making them and leaving them. That's horrible. Shit. <laughs> but funny. So we're gonna look at this one first, because we're not moving into it. It's not hmm. our aesthetic. Look at this beautiful yard. There's a butterfly there. It's right off the water. Oh. It's very it's, cute. Uh, no. It's 
So we're gonna look inside. I mean, it's pretty nice. It's just a little log cabin. I like logs. I like cabins. I do not like that roof. The purple roof. No. Plus, the music's all like peaceful. Nah, not my aesthetic. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that lady in a minute. So calm down, lady. We'll get there. That's not our landlady. That's one of her oh, many, no, many, many twins. Oh, her many magical twins that are not related to her, I don't think. Ah, like Nurse Joy and Officer Jenny. Yes. We are moving into this place. Although, this for is where any we're of moving you into. Out there, you know, oh my god, it's beautiful. Um, with Nurse Joy and Officer Jenny, like, they all have, like, a different symbol on them, so you can tell mm -hmm. where they're actually from. Exactly the same on the inside, but this is the one we're moving into. Oh. Yep. Interesting. I like it. The music is much more like, I actually am an adventurer. Yeah. The other one was, like, super peaceful. mm mm mm, -mm. We're ready to move. <laughs> this morning, get out. This afternoon, okay, bye. For five minutes later, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> it's like I'm packed. It's like what? There wasn't really much to pack. Hi, ready to move? Uh. Oh, that's our hand. Is there another? No, no, no. We gotta uh, put all of our furniture away. Oh. So that we can move. We actually have to pack. Yeah. Got it. Well, so. I was of. like, but why? Why would we need to do anything else? There we go. Oh. Dang. All well done. It just. Yep. Alright, that sounds legit. Thinking of moving? I want to move! Yee! Yeah. Then let's look at your options. They're all similar in size, but the key issue here is location, am I right? I want the uh, dilapidated yeah. house! Mm hmm, mm hmm. 6,000 dosh. Yep. I mean, sure. It's not much. Oh no, I'm gonna break the bank. Ours now. Let's go mm. home. Fast travel. Look at that. This place is much bigger. The cats will like it much more. Ah, uh, yeah. Now my favorite part: decorating. <laughs> so this is literally a house for our cats, right? Yep. Chair for the cats to sit in. A rubbish bin for the cats to jump in, because we all know they like that. They usually do. They usually do. Curtains. Green Aww. floor. Green walls. So they oh feel my like gosh. they're in nature. You like green, Why right? Why is everything green? <laughs> green I love is green, the default that's a lot for of some reason. I think it's funny that the ground looks like grass. Like, that's really the, bad. That's literally like, like the point pixelated of it. grass. Wow. Yep. The scores. <laughs> yep. Like the grass from Pokemon. Oh, wow. This is our home. Let's check! <laughs> so blissful. <sighs> oh no, I'm yawning. Oh no, how dare you? <clears throat> okay, I'm good. Are you sure? Kitties! Hmm? I kind of want to see the kitties inside the house. Go ahead. Go wild! 
No, because then I'll have to kick them out of my party, and then I'll have to kick them back into my party. Ah, uh, okay. Never mind. Let's just go. Yeah, Wait we got a quest to do it for us. Mm. Okay. What is next on our list? The new area? Or is that further down? Uh, we're gonna... No, that's... That's... In a couple minutes. We'll get to it. Ah. We'll get to it in this episode. But... Glad ah, to talk cool, to cool. the horse lady we passed over here. Sup? Hi! Plot! <gasps> I sparkle. You must be Krisk, which makes you the talking butterfly people won't stop yittering about. I thought that butterfly uh, would be bigger. I I'm met, a butterfly. By the way. <laughs> Do me a favor and take these. I have no a idea horse? what this voice oh. is, by the way. Just saying. Oh, okay. I was hoping when she said take these, she'd just be like, it's a pair of horses, have fun. They're good if you ever need an SP boost. I've got way too many of them. Glad you can take them off my hands. All right, we'll be seeing you then. Wait, 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 wait. We wanted to ask you something. Well, okay, but make it quick. We'd like to ride a horse. Not, not like we did that last episode or anything, but like right now. Yeah. Yes. Who wouldn't? Riding is one of the most liberating and exciting activities a person can undertake. It's a good workout and gets you from A to B. But I actually don't have the time to talk the finer points of riding with a butterfly. So you two have a good oh. one. Take care. Dot, dot, dot. What if we proved our worth with some horse puns? Oh, do you know some? <laughs> no, but we really want a horse. Well, all right. If you're serious, I can give you the rundown. Ours is useful as it lets you get around quickly without draining your SP. If you just mount one and leave it, it will eventually make its own way back home. Oh, cute. Oh, how cute. Oh, that was you. <laughs> Sorry. Is it? Well, if you say so. Each horse is trained to return to the stables here if left alone. Uh huh. So these horses sound like they're all business. Alright, let's give it a try, Chris. Not like we did last time, but like this time. Yep. How do we get our wings on one of these, Beth? Cool your wings, there, butterfly. I don't lend these horses out to just anyone. If you don't have enough bliss, uh... you don't ride of one of my babies. I don't know if Chris here is ready. Uh, we saw you uh, yesterday. <laughs> well, hate to say it, but, um, I already rode one. It can be dangerous riding a horse if you don't have enough bliss. Horses can sense horse. things, see? They need a happy, confident, and comfortable rider. I've seen a lot of folks with low bliss levels get fucked straight into the manure pile. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gross. How would you like to be cleaning that stuff out of your wings? So that's why you don't mm. lend, lend them to people who don't have enough bliss in the first place. At some point, you can buy your own personal horse if you rack up enough bliss, though. That's the one I want. <gasps> Once you get your own horse, it won't run back to the stables whenever you dismount. And we'll even let oh, you oh. name it. Quite a bonus. Does not count as a pet. Oh, that sounds great. I want my own horse. Skip all the rest of this exposition. If you want a horse from our stables, just talk to our staff member over there. Enjoy! Don't get discouraged if it's hard to get the hang of it at first. Just try to be one with the horse. Yeah, so discouraged. Yay! Yay! Mm. Stuff! Prices! Alright, we gotta go to the library. The library. Okay. Library. 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 The library. The library. With our kitty cat friends. This is the library. Yep. Well, it certainly smells like one. 
Doesn't that scent of musty leather and ink make you just wanna learn something? Not really, no. Where are the history books? Let me at them! I say, talking only as a persona because I hate history. Oh my god, his nose. Wow! Um, there are just so many words here. I'm gonna need some help turning all these pages. Why such loud talking? I would think that even a butterfly would know to keep its voice down while in a library. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm still getting used to the whole, you know, having a voice thing. <laughs> I just got so excited. and I love books. You must too. I've seen you reading outside in the square before. Yes, I find extreme joy in these snacks. Extreme joy. Me too. I love learning things about the world. I'll learn about anything. Toads, tools, toes, whatever. Snails. Ooh, do you have any books on doomstones? If you're seeking information regarding doomstones, you'd be better off seeing Hughes at the castle. He's a truly exceptional scholar. He's quite brilliant. I find his curly hair to be impressive on occasion. Really? So that old man knew what he was talking about after all, huh? Unfortunately, a genius of his caliber often neglects to properly record the totality of his work. Still, if you want to know about Doomstones, talking to him would yield more results than searching here. Okay, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks! Do you have anything on the history of the goddess? Ah, yes, of course. I was just looking over one of the more comprehensive volumes we have. But wait, perhaps we should start small. We have a wonderful tome of old legends with some beautiful artwork. What? Do you think I can't read? You think I need a picture book? Ooh. I would be very surprised to find that you couldn't read. You did come to the library. I thought of the other book because it has a great deal of information on the older legends. But if you like to dive into the more analytic works, I'm sure you'll be fine, like any philo philologist. Yeah, or any book lover. But, uh, our work sounds good too, you know, just for a start. I wouldn't want to gloss over that stuff. Ah, uh, of course. There's no shortcuts in learning. <laughs> I think that is a joke. Someone told me that once and then laughed. I'm not sure why. Anyway, you are free to use that book stand, seriously. You will be needing help turning the pages? No, I got my buddy hands over here. It's alright, we got this. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. I can help you find any book you're looking for. Any? Really? Wow, thank you so much. Wow. It is a pleasure that it falls upon my shoulders to ensure a pleasant library environment for all users. Wait, 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 wait. But if you're the only librarian here... How do you ever get time... Or how do you ever get to spend time outside? You know, in the sunlight? I often have to take a break and get a bit of fresh air. The smell of musty leather and ink. While at mm. first quite intoxicating can make one forget, there is life outside of books as well. But when I've seen you outside, you're always just reading. I get nervous talking to people, okay? Ha, <laughs> fair enough. Well, you're doing a great job here, I must say. We need to make this a regular stop, Chris. No. I got to get my book fix. I want to be the most knowledgeable butterfly Riviera has ever seen. Shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> you know what I think, Chris? I think you'd look good in a pair of scholarly glasses. No. Would you like some? I have my old pair here. I put regular lenses in them so they won't hurt your eyes. No. no. I had better ones. I sold them. I don't need them. No. <laughs> Remember that you're always welcome here in the library, day or night. Next!
Nope, nope, not that way. Hoi! Well, well, so we meet again. I'm not bowing if that's what you want. But you have our gratitude. Yeah, we want to thank you too. Well, it looks as if one of you does have manners, after all. You're very welcome, Chompy. Oi, oi. Take, take! Did, oh, oh my did god. Did you lay this? Should we be concerned? <laughs> uh, uh th thanks, Chompy. For what? Chompy went out and found that for you. Okay, my turn. Found, better. okay, okay. <laughs> Surely some mushes would have sufficed. A bit of overkill if you ask me. <laughs> but nobody didn't ask you, Piao. Which means that we did ask you. Anyway, Chompy's back to his old self again, and we're just happy to repay you somehow. Oh, that's very nice. It's the least we could do. I'm just glad Chompy is okay. You guys try and stay out of trouble now. And remember, make some dosh. Like, literally, like, make it. Go get, like, a bunch of paper and some leaves and just... Yeah. Gasp! I beg your pardon, my good butterfly. I believe that you have stolen my credo. Just let it go, bro. That's not important. What's important is Chompy's okay. I couldn't have ever forgave myself if something bad happened to you. Which please? Pull yourself together. There are others present here. Alright, now I'm together. In fact, I'm making a change right now. From now on, I'm gonna make sure Chompy is always safe. I'm going to make sure Aww. nobody I love ever gets hurt again. That goes for you too, bro. Bro. That's cute. Bro, dude, man. <laughs> Honestly, Butch, you're embarrassing me and you're embarrassing yourself. Oh my gosh. You just like get a level or something? Whoa, Butch? What was that? There's a wonderful power in committing to what you want, Butch. Your wish has been heard. Ooh, sparkle shiny. I think you'll be quite pleased in the future, Butch. Butch, are you okay? What did you do to him? Talk, butterfly! I don't do anything to him, relax. Don't you try pull one over on me. I didn't just fall off the character truck, you just sparkled. I saw it. Well, yes, I always sparkle. I'm a butterfly after all. <laughs> One has nothing to do with the other. Oh, Roy. Thanks, thanks. What's that, Chompy? I think he liked it when I sparkled. <laughs> I think my sparkling had pretty much the opposite effect of what that stone did to him. Don't worry, bro. I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm sure. In fact, I'm better than fine. I think I'm real, real good. I love you guys! Uh, well, well I, uh, don't have to go, Butch. I'm glad you're coming to, you know, terms with your feelings. It's a sign of maturity, and your willingness to do so, so openly express yourself is a sign of weirdness. But I'm mature enough to let all the world know I can appreciate it all the same. I must say, I'm quite disappointed we're not able to capitalize on this doomstone. You're not planning to swipe that doomstone again, are you? Hardly. That rough terrifies me. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, yuck. Were they able to determine what it actually is? 
We still don't know. The huge jerk took the shards. We haven't heard anything from him yet. Too much talking about Doom and Gloom. My tummy is starting to roll. I'm just used to. Bro, it's time to provide! Hey, that sounds like a good credo, Butch. And the Lord shall provide! <laughs> You should remember that one as you take on this new commitment of yours. Yeah, no more buckets. Yeah, I like that. It's time to provide. Come on, bro. Let's get that stitched on a tunic or something. Oi, oi. Credo, credo. My boyfriend, credo. Don't forget to Cuido, actually... Cuido. Don't forget to actually get yourself some food while you're basking in the joy of your new credo. Get some dosh and some nosh. Nah, 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 nah. Don't you just like how stuff magically appears? It's a brrrr. Let's save here real quick. Meow. That's so much dash. So much bullish. So many stars. Ugh. Whoa. The west grassy plains, eh? Ah, the grass here just smells more western than in other plains, huh? Yikes! There's a little girl all by herself over there. Uh. Excuse me, little girl all by yourself. Are you lost? You want some candy? I've got a van. I mean, it's not really a van, it's a horse, but still. I rented it, but you get on and can take you away somewhere. It's dangerous for a little one like you to be all alone out here. Because I might get talked to death by a butterfly. The only dangerous okay, thing now you're here just is my brother's breath after a round of onion munching. Farley thinks he's so well. cool just because this is his heart. When I grow up, I'm going to help him though. I'm going to put some of my veggies up on that sign. Someday, I'm gonna grow the radishes and milk the sheep and chickens, too. Aw, that's so adorable. You think that chickens have milk. <laughs> so do you have any big, scary animals on your farm? I'm young, not dumb. You don't have to talk to me like that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... Yep, my bad. No excuse, my bad. Yeah, well, you're lucky I'm not talking to you like you're a teeny weeny itty bitty little butterfly. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. I thought it was my bad. Please, please, please don't. From the looks of you, y'all are from Castell. Farley says that city folk don't know how to do hard work. Well, I don't think it's that really fair. Some people in the city work very hard. Well, what a butterfly know about hard work? Uh, I work very hard flapping my wings constantly. It's quite the workout. What's a workout? A way to get out of real work? Never what, mind. rude? If you need any fresh fruits or veggies, you can get whatever you want here. That's great. You're rude. I'm done. You're a good salesperson, but bye. I mean, have you thought of going into marketing? Yes, I go into the market almost every day. I take eggs there too. We have some extra lying around though. You can take some if you want. So, 
We have to pay for our vegetables so we can steal some eggs. Okay, cool. That sounds fun. Thank you. No, we can literally just steal everything. Oh, I want sweet. people to know That's how so tasty generous. our eggs are. It's my new plan. You eat them, and they're so delicious that you'll tell your friends to buy some. Uh, that's really smart to rely on word of mouth. Eggs going in your mouth, words come out. Here, now go ahead and put these in your mouth. Just ah, shove an egg in a butterfly. Just, uh, they're gold. They're called royal eggs. Five of them? Th thank you so much. I better get back to work now. I have to go pet the goats or they get lonely. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were working. Thanks for your time. Time is all we have here. We see the cycle of seasons in our gardens. All of life is presented to us in the form of nourishment. Or something like that. That's what Farley says. But most people just laugh at him. So what, draw? That all makes sense to me. I think it's a great way to look at things. I guess, but looking at things doesn't bring dosh. Say, if you're heading farther out into the plains, you should probably take a look at your equipment. There's monsters out there. This isn't the East Grassy Plains, you know? Good luck! Spread the word about our farm! Bye bye, B! Okay, bye, crazy kid. Bye! Okay, child. Judgmental child. So, yeah! That, I think that's all of Butterfly's requests. Yep, that's all of Butterfly's requests! All that's left is to Yay. go home and talk to Butterfly! That's the wrong menu. Teleport now! And do you know what's gonna happen if we check our bliss with the Butterfly? <gasps> We're gonna get more stuff, aren't we? No! A cutscene! And I don't wanna deal with that! I'm ready for bed! Oh. So we're gonna end the episode <laughs> here! <laughs> Uh, I see. This is you getting out of the rest of that bliss. Got it. Hey. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, and in that case, we will see you guys next time on the Vulcan Reapers. Live long and prosper, nerds. So get a diff, everything. Bye.